Welcome back to Grizz Vision on OUGrizzlies.com. Today we're here with head women's soccer coach Nick O'Shea to talk about the upcoming spring season. Uh, coach O'Shea, just tell us a little bit about what your goals are uh, when your team steps up in the, in the, the spring season, the non-traditional season. Well, our goals are are uh, different for all the players. We have team goals. We have uh, individual. We're looking for individuals to do different things. So, I mean, a team goal that we have is to try and uh, solidify a playing style. We're trying to get a playing style in place uh, and be good enough at it that people have to adjust to us, and we don't have to adjust to them on a regular basis. So, we're really trying to uh, establish a, a playing style. Um, individually, we're looking for players to that have played a lot in the fall and the last few years to, to do a few new things. Um, and we're looking to see what the players who haven't had the opportunity to play, the younger players or, or ones that just haven't played that much in, in the fall season, we're looking to see what they can do against other teams and in, 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 a, in a setting where they're going to get 30, 35 minutes in a row to play in a game as opposed to, you know, five, ten minutes in the, in the fall where they just kind of go in and give somebody a rest and, and come back out. So playing 30 minutes in a row, 35 minutes in a row is a little different than just going in and getting someone a breather. So we want to see what they can do and, you know, give them a chance to prove that they belong on the field more for the fall. Right, Coach, and you bring up a great point there, uh, that there are two, two aspects to the spring season. Uh, the one aspect, of course, is that you do have – uh, five games that you'll get to play, where you'll get to see your players in a competitive setting. The other aspect is that you are able to practice during the spring. Um, what is it that you look for during that practice time? What uh, you said you're focusing on a playing style, things like that. Uh, what else does that does that practice time allow you to build with your team? Uh, we really break it down quite a bit. So uh, do some functional training with our wide players. Try and give them ideas how to attack wide. We we focus on our central players. We'll take our defenders out at different times, do things with them. So, um, kind of break down positionally for them or in small groups some of the things that they're they're to, to help them when we put everything back together, um, just to make us a bit more solid uh, and a better understanding tactically uh, of what we're supposed to do. So, um, we do that. We try and get uh, better at set plays. Uh, we definitely work on technical things um, to, to try and prove each player individually, with it, which at the end of the day will make us a stronger team and the ability to do things technically, which simplifies it for us tactically. So um, we do quite a bit in the spring. Spring is a very busy, very uh, a lot of growth in our team and the players in the springtime. That's the time that we can get more things in. You know, if we introduce too many things in the fall, uh, it can become overwhelming and player overload and all of a sudden they start questioning their abilities, things like that. So um, we try and get it all in here where they have a number of days in a row to practice it, implement it, try it again, fail at it, and then go back at it again. So, um, so yeah, a lot of, a lot of coaching and uh, players are doing a great job of responding. They come every day working hard and um, just looking forward to playing some games now and actually seeing – uh, what it looks like against an opposition. Right, Coach, and you and I had spoken a little bit about this off-camera, uh, talking about how this is really the time when you install your system. Mm -hmm. You don't wait, as you were saying there, you don't wait until the fall season to install that. So while some people might look at this as an off-season or uh, a break time for you, you're really putting in the groundwork for what, what people are going to see on the field in the fall. Is that correct? For sure. For sure. I, I, I think the players are challenged in practice more during this time of the year than they are in the fall. In the fall, it is, uh, you know, they come in, we have preseason, so they're physically getting ready. Whereas here, they're tactically and technically being challenged uh, as opposed to physical demands. Now, we do compete hard, and we, and we ask them to train hard and everything. Uh, but it's completely, I think it's completely different, the mindset and the approach that we take to our spring training versus our, our fall actual competitive season. We're trying to prepare for an upcoming game as opposed to implementing a complete playing style, different things like that. All that work is done at this time. All right, Coach, and uh, as you touched on a little bit as well, uh, you do have five games coming up during the spring season. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to just kind of give people the dates so they can pencil those in on their calendar? <laughs> yeah, well, if you're not doing anything on St. Patrick's Day, we're going to play Eastern Michigan, the green and white. We're going to play them. I don't know how we're going to do against a green and white team on St. Patrick's Day, but we'll give it a go. Uh, so that's on the 17th. It's at 3 o'clock at their uh, bubble out at their place. 
And then um, we've got the 23rd against Saginaw Valley. That's going to be at Ultimate. It's a Friday. We're going to do it during our practice time, so uh, 10 to 1130 in the morning uh, is when that'll that'll take place. And then uh, two days later, we're up at Central Michigan on the 25th of March. Then the 31st, Ultimate Soccer and the Michigan Bucks are hosting an event with uh, men's college games and ourselves. We play Michigan State. Uh, that's at 1.30 on the 31st. And then on uh, um, Easter weekend, that last Saturday, we're going to play Western Michigan at their place to finish up. Right, Coach. Sounds like a busy schedule. And a lot of uh, teams, uh, I noticed that you did have three MAC opponents, but three... Uh, Actually, five in-state opponents. Yeah. So uh, you're keeping it close, but you are staying competitive. Oh yeah, it's you know it, it's it's about uh, uh, playing good teams, playing different teams. You know, we really don't play many of those. We played Eastern and Michigan State uh, this past season, but we haven't played the other teams. We we do we play mostly in the spring. We'll play those teams. All right, Coach. Well, it certainly sounds like an exciting time of year. You, you're really working uh, at achieving a lot and going to get out there and, and really challenge your players against some tough opponents. Uh, we just wish you the best of luck during the spring season. Thank you very much.